Now we come to temperature. Right now it's disabled. Why? Because we had it disabled in our contents method. So if we turn on temperature and we, we, we set it to dynamic grid, let me show you just, uh, let's say the density buoyancy will be zero, but we still want to push it kind of, we, you know, the blast, it, 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 it uh, emits a lot of heat, and that heat pushes this, the cloud up. So we want to push it up. Right now, it's off. It doesn't go nowhere. We have only turbulence that disable the turbulence so we can see better. So right now, it just stays there. But we have our, you have our temperature. So let's disable temperature for now. off. What's going to happen? It does go nowhere. It just stays there. We don't have no turbulence, no velocity applied, zero, everything. It just stays there. So let's push it. Let's say, okay, it's, it's heavy a bit. It's the heavy particles. is heavier than air. So we'll give it a little bit of negative buoyancy in density. 0.4, minus 0.4. It goes down a bit. Let's do minus 0.1. So it's kind of going up. But then we have a, you know, something pushing up. Temperature goes up, as you know. Cold air goes, you know. Cold, uh, hot air arises. That's how we get wind. So we set it to dynamic grid. And then our temperature, we give it positive buoyancy. See what happens? It pushes up. The particles, the, the I mean, real life, real life particles. I mean, the voxels want to go down, but the you see, and it still goes down when the when the on the edges. But the the temperature want to push them up. So the same same thing here. We can dissipate the temperature, and we can diffuse. Dissipation means it will go off quicker. Diffusion it will mix inside a container. Turbulence, same thing. We can add some turbulence to to. You can see that's that's only temperature. That's how temperature affects our fluid. And you see it dissipates too fast, so it doesn't really it doesn't push it up. <clears throat> that's for temperature. Then we have our fuel. And that's for fuel basin. Fuel fuel feeds temperature. So if you like temperature will dissipate, but if you add some fuel, it will go and still you know keep it burning as we see in the previous method. Color. Let's disable temperature. Color. This color. Uh, what is that color method? If density. With a color method, color method. Well, let's keep it. I'll keep it for later if I. But I mean, I mean, it's not that useful. You basically can emit color from that, from the emitter, and then key it, and it will have. Let me show you. I have a scene for that uh, here. Color methods, uh, fluids, intro, color. See what happens here? We have a color. We have a emitter. We have a meter emitting color, and then this color. Yeah, you can see fluid attributes, and it says emit fluid color in the emitter itself, not, not in the container, the emitter. If you select the emitter, you see you have emitter attributes, and, and this in this case, you see it's emit fluid color, and the color is keyed. So we have 
value of color is and that's why it changes the color when while emitting constantly. You can, you know, it's not very realistic, but you can achieve all kinds of abstract effects, and you do that sometimes. So that's color, if emit fluid color, and then we'll see if we see fluid shape. Yeah, and, it, and this, is, this one became enable, enabled, so we have color dissipation, color diffusion. You can make diffusion and mix them. That, that's where the colors will mix with each other, as you see. And you can make them dissipate faster. So just gone right there. They all mix in the gum, <coughs> kind of gray, dark gray color. Yeah. All right, that's color. Okay, you can also have a, which is very, you have a surface. You can, uh, okay, it's cash. Surface, you see that right now it's set to volume, volume render, and we have this smoke thing. But if we set it to surface render, see what happens? We have hard surface or soft surface. And it's very, extremely slow with the fluid, so I don't know. This, this is like low res, so it, it does work properly. So, but if you select, you have your, and then we render, it becomes surface. And you can adjust, you can have some specular color to it. Okay, let's go back to volume. Environment, that's for the surface environment. The, see when you click so you have the environment tab, but we don't need it right now. We have output mesh, resolution, high res, low res. Let's give it two. And now let's go back to volume and go to shading. So right here we have transparency. Less transparent, more transparent. We have glow intensity. I'm, I'm, I tend not to. If you do, you do use glow intensity, especially when you know you know the blast, the first, the first like that light emitted, you can key it just a little bit. But most of the times, you can. Uh, you obviously, you probably will be adjusting it in post production. You don't want your you know the screw or render, but you know tons of glow and stuff. It might flicker. So that's a little thing. Let me show you. How, uh, let's do some. Okay, let's do density. Create some gradient here, some nice gradient. Not so nice. Density, and then, and then uh, okay, we don't have temperature. Let's do some, we need some temperature here. Temperature, dynamic grid. So we'll have some temperature. And we'll set our incandescence. Well, that's ugly. We'll send our incandescence to temperature. 